Today we're going to take a look at some of the coolest features of the Windows 10 Anniversary Update, the first major update to Windows 10 since Microsoft released the operating system last year. In the new Windows 10, Cortana has gotten a lot smarter. Now, when you add something to your calendar, she can tell you when they conflict with other events. For example, hey Cortana, add dinner to my calendar this Friday at 8 p.m. Add dinner to your calendar for Friday at 8 p.m. Sound good? Yes. All right, I've added it. Just so you know, you have Suicide Squad at the same time. Well, I guess I better cancel those dinner plans. Cortana can also communicate with your Android or Windows phone. Simply install the Cortana app and you'll be able to mirror your phone's notifications, get notified when your battery is low, and more. You can also use some awesome commands from the desktop. For example, Hey Cortana, get directions to Battle and Brew. Okay, getting you directions to Battle and Brew. You'll then see the directions open up in the Maps app on your computer. However, you'll also get a notification on your phone that you can tap to open directions in whatever map app you'd like. Managing multiple desktops is also getting a lot easier. For example, when you access the task view by pressing Windows tab, you can now right-click a window to set it to show on all desktops. Now, no matter which desktop I switch to, my calculator will always be visible. If you use Microsoft's Calendar app, you'll also notice that your agenda is now integrated directly into the taskbar calendar view. Simply click the date and time in the lower right corner like usual, and you'll see your list of events directly below the month view. You can also click other days in the calendar to see your events for that day. Shoot, I still have that dinner scheduled for Friday. Fortunately, I can just click this event here to open up the calendar app and delete that event. That's much better. The Action Center in Windows 10 also got a few handy tweaks. You can now customize which quick actions appear at the bottom. Open Settings and go to System, Notification and Actions. Here, you can click and drag to rearrange your quick actions or disable the ones that you don't use. In this section, you can also scroll down to change or disable the notification settings for the various apps you have installed. If you've ever had a pushy Windows update interrupt your work, you're also in luck. Under Update Settings, you can now set active hours to block Windows from restarting your computer to apply updates in the middle of the day. It's unclear why Microsoft thought it was okay to interrupt your work up until now, but this is a welcome change. Unfortunately, you can only block updates for up to 12 hours of the day, but this should at least spare most of us from a lot of lost work. Windows 10 also comes with a new dark theme that you can apply to several other built-in apps. Open Settings and head to Personalization and Colors, then under Choose Your App Mode, select Dark. You can check out the change immediately in the Settings app or in other apps like the calculator. Finally, Microsoft's Edge browser comes with a few new features. For example, you can now right-click to pin a tab, just like you can in Firefox or Chrome. These tabs will persist even if you close the entire browser. You can also now install extensions from the Windows Store. Here you'll find a few mainstays like Adblock Plus or the Evernote Web Clipper. There aren't a ton available yet, but Microsoft has said that it can support the same extensions that Chrome has once developers port them over. Edge will also get the ability to selectively block Flash content so that you can play only the videos or games that you want without getting all of the junk. These are just some of the big headliners, but you can check out tons of other cool features, including a new Bash shell, Smart Unlock, and more when the anniversary update rolls out to you.